Do you know how many people are getting injured or killed in earthquakes during a year? In China, 47.2 million people are. Of course, there are many excellent earthquake resistant designs in China. But for those who are living in provincial single story houses or who can't even dream of earthquake resistant designs, earthquakes are just the disaster of destroying their homes. But why should we care about earthquakes occurring in China? We don't live in a country where earthquakes occur that often. Well, I thought it was important to spread the fact that lots of people suffer all around the earth suffers from natural disasters. And you'll be aware of countries that have natural disasters but don't have enough finance or infrastructure to deal with them uh, and think about solutions further. Have you ever thought about environmental problems? Of course, earthquakes are not the same kind of in the natural disasters caused by environmental pollution in advanced countries, such as rising sea levels, but it will be enough to feel responsible as citizens of countries with aid capabilities. In my presentation today, I will talk about the, I will talk about the ways responsible science students like us could help. Last year, we had a project to come up with ideas about appropriate technology after having a class of Hans Rosling's factfulness. We note that level one countries, which we commonly call low income countries, are told what to do to make a better living. Appropriate technology refers to technology applied mainly to improve quality of life, fight poverty, and taking into account cultural, political, and environmental aspects of developing countries. There are solar-powered light bulbs or pot-in-pot -pot refrigerators, for example. Our students also presented various, various ideas about appropriate technology. My idea was the simple seismic design for the, as for the earthquakes I explained earlier. I designed the seismic design of fault houses using Interia based on the principle of seismic wave detection system. This is seismometer, and this is how it works. Based on the principle I implemented by design with the SketchUp program, and the picture on the left is a log house with the seismic design. The right is the three-dimensional perspective view, and it's hard to see, but there is a rope on the top of the house inside. If the house is suspended from the pillars, the house will not be shaken by interior even if the ground shakes. My earthquake resistant design requires only trees to be embedded in the ground so houses can be built easily in the countryside. My technology uses local people and local resources, is self-sustainable, and has no negative impact on the environment. When you build a house, you simply add the surrounding wooden pillars and you don't need unnecessary outside personals or experts. Also, even if, if, even if the system is destroyed after a long time, you only need to replace the new pillar. Finally, it is more eco-friendly than steel-based seismic design, which emits a lot of carbon dioxide, and wooden pillars are biodegradable and do not affect the environment. Of course, this idea is not incredibly ingenious or perfect or proven to be commercially viable. My friend listened to my idea and if, asked if wind would shake the house the other way around. Quite funny, but worth listening to. I found myself committed to my project enthusiastically and you know what? I thought it was a good opportunity to help people suffering from various problems around the world and talk to other members in my community, like just like my talking with a friend about my earth re earthquake resistant house. And I've been interested in environmental issues and continuously trying to do research activities related to them. I was interested in things being thrown away. After two years of research with my team, I learned more about environmental problems and was able to come up 
come up with solutions by combining them. For example, this year I'm giving my focus on giving industrial value to lignin, which originated from wood and was discarded from paper industry. This is lignin, and 140 million tons of lignin is thrown away every year worldwide. And there is a recycling problem hidden in the research that gives value to lignin that I mentioned earlier. Separation of colorless pet bottle is being implemented, and due to difficulties in recycling, the, color, the, the use of color pet bottles is suspended. However, beer and other beverages needed to block UV rays, so the use of color pet bottles seems inevitable. We tried to solve it based on the fact that lignin has UV prote protection effects. We thought we could solve the recycling problem in an eco-friendly way if we made a UV protection lignin film and attached it to a transparent PET bottles. Thanks to the team members and our guidance teacher, who is over there tonight, um, we, our project become a successful project. As I realized the importance of sharing, I suggest making inventions to prevent environmental issues, pollutions, and came up with many inventions with my classmates. All the experiences I've talked about so far in science high school made my mind firm. Up until middle school, my dream was to be a social activist working in an international organization, although it may be hard to imagine that I'm going to science high school now. The dream started when I was young. When I was in elementary school, I was in a pet club till the end of my middle school. As the club name suggests, it was where the club members attended to various TED lectures and discussed with each other. Thankfully, I, could, I was able to learn various world interests that I understood shallowly only at this time. So my dream came from the desire to influence people in a good way. Now, I hope to be a science researcher, but I believe that my dream has not changed much from when I was young. Even if I don't become an influ influential person around the world, I think I can change the world by influencing people around me who are connected to me in my, in my place. Expressing interest in environmental issues and proposing alternatives will be and should be our new normal. Try talking to your people who, who make up your small society about the problem situations you are interested in, expressing your thoughts, and conducting small discussions. We tend to focus more and listen to what people around us say than on what presidents or authorities say on the air. With the coronavirus outbreak and abnormal weather conditions all over the world now, these actions will bring small but a lot of change. Act in your own seat. Thank you.